Okay, uh, Ashley Larry's here. Donnell Rollins. And he's about to come down the runway of, of life. A.K.A. the runway to the studio. Yeah. This is my first time meeting him. Why did I think that I met him before? Donnell Rollins. Well, he plays Ashley Larry on the, um, or played Ashley Larry on the Dave Chappelle show. So, yeah, I mean, you know, the purpose of his visit is to come by and promote his Times Square appearance at Caroline's Comedy Club. However, ha ha! You know. Hey! What's going on? How you doing? I'm all right, man. Good. Okay, I'll tell you who you look like. I hope it's somebody look handsome. Tonight. Don't start off with the You ugly look like, girl. it's really weird to me. You look like a cross between Tretch and the great late Robin Harris. So that's like a, that's like a funny, sexy yeah. dude, right? Isn't that it, girls? I'll take that to the bank. Robin Harris, baby's kid. Yes. Yup. And look- Tretch. Do not you see any Tretch at all? I don't want to <laughs> <laughs> Somebody better speak up. My reputation is on the line right now. Okay, Ashy Larry. What's going on? So, um, you're telling jokes at Caroline's Comedy Club in Times Square. Yeah. Um, July 4th weekend. Exactly. But let's get to what we all want to know. Uh-huh. What is going on with Dave Chappelle? Do, are you out of a job I don't know. Again? I'm, I don't know if I'm out of a job, but I haven't worked in like the last three months. The last time I talked to Dave, he told me he was going home, but I didn't know he meant home. Home to the home. motherland. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean... Dude owed me like seven dollars. He said he was gonna get a pack of cigarettes, and I haven't seen him in like two months. So I don't, I don't know what's going on. And the question that everybody says is Dave crazy? Is Dave crazy? If you know anything about geography, you understand that Durban, Africa, is like the South Beach, Miami, oh. of Africa. So the location he chose to seek refuge was a very, very nice place. Luxurious. Supermodels, high-rise buildings. Now, if you would have checked into Hotel Rwanda, yes, then I would have said. <laughs> He need to check yourself into okay. a million institution. Okay. He was 2,000 miles away from apartheid and age, so you got to give him credit for picking a nice resort, wow. peaceful place to go uh, express himself. Yes. Yeah. So, are, did you, I'm out of a got job, yeah. Yeah. I am. I am out of a job. <laughs> I'm trying to be all politically correct about it. You know what? It's not about that. Dave needs to clear his head. I don't have a job right now. It's a visual problem. And I'm looking. That's a big problem. Now, the whisper behind the scenes of For Comedy Central was that they were going to sue him to get back to work to do his third season or sue him for the money back. I don't know, but I, what, I, what I do know, and I, I suggested, Dave, that he turn himself into the nearest police department because <laughs> Jutang Klang ain't nothing to mess with. <laughs> they're going to they see you some kind of way. Yeah. They're definitely going to see you. Yeah. So in the meantime, um, Comedy Central has kind of closed in the ranks. I forgot the name of the show that I was mentioning. There's a white boy who hosts a show, and they they, um, have been promoting this show a lot. I forgot what it's called. Anyway, and then the Chappelle DVD has been doing extremely well. 1.2 million the first week, 1.4 million the second week. So that might be enough to say I don't want to do another season. Yeah. You know, we're talking about $60, $70 million like in two weeks. Yeah. At least. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. And how much of, our, of that I'll get, we'll see. Well, who has he been in contact with from the shell? I mean, does he talk to Charlie Murphy? Do you know? Have you talked to Charlie? Is yeah, I talk to Charlie every day. Okay. You, you guys know, are friends I, like that. Yeah, me and Charlie are like real, real cool. Even a lot of people don't understand my relationship with the show. Everybody thinks, because um, both, both me and David from D.C., that we had that camaraderie. And I do respect him, and, and he's done a lot for me. But the white kid on the show, Neil Brennan, has like, been like one of the realest, if you want to say, right. to me and my representation on the show. Right. Yeah. Very nice. So, now, you at one point were a part of um, the morning show at Shot 97. Yeah. Here in New York. Um, shout out to MV, shout out to Jones, you know, but uh, he's here and I'm asking. Oh, well, oh, well. What, <laughs> what happened? Okay, so that you all did the tsunami, tsunami parody. No, I wasn't down with the tsunami thing. I like Asian people. I eat beef and broccoli every day. Okay. So I don't have no situation with that. I had a situation with the host where we couldn't see eye to eye and we had personality con- um, clashes constantly. Oh, who was the comedian down with the um, tsunami? That was um, Todd that was Todd Lynn. I'm about to ask because I know Todd. Uh-huh. I'm about to ask you about Todd uh, because <laughs> Todd replaced you. Todd didn't. We were working together mm-hmm. at the same time. It was going to be, it was going to be a thing. We could have been like the Batman and Robin, right. of comedy. But some 
times people think they got to step on people to get ahead instead of working as a team. My whole situation so was... So Todd that, stepped on you. Yeah, he stepped on And me. then ultimately is out of a job anyway. Yeah, I mean, you know, what they say, uh, oh, God, well, oh, God, well. God works in mysterious oh. ways. Yeah. I didn't hate, but that song went platinum yeah. and his career went wood, so... Yeah, well, um, <laughs> hey, Todd, um, so are you, are, you, are you actively pursuing employment on a steady basis now, in will, radio always, or I'll, would you rather do sitcoms or uh, are you participating in anybody's pilot season well i've comedy central is already developing something for me and charlie very nice as we speak i don't know if so that, then the Chappelle show you all are moving on no nah, i mean we I, I i got a lot of love for dave i want to do the show the show comes back you can't there's no way for me to sit up here and say i want to do my own thing because he has the hottest show on the planet. Right, right. But at the same time, me as an artist, I got to keep it moving. Right. I can't sit around and wait to see what somebody says they want to do to decide on got what you. I'm going to do next. Got you know? you. So it's always, that show has only took us like three months to produce that, so there's always other things that we're working out. Yeah, I, w I want to check out your R. Kelly um, song. Everybody, this is Donnell <laughs> Rollins. It, I'm, not, I'm not a singer, but it was the only way I could express myself and what's happening or what happened on the show. So this is what this is a world premiere. I don't know if you want to drop anything it. It's a on world it. premiere. We'll throw a Hold bomb on, on it. It's <laughs> and thank you for coming in. Donnell Thanks. Rollins, aka Ashy Larry. Don't forget he's in Caroline's at the Caroline's Comedy Club in Times Square, July fourth weekend. Go to Caroline's dot com for all the details. Uh, let's listen to this together, everybody. Go ahead, hit it. This is a Wendy Williams exclusive. <laughs> 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 uh. Producer shakes me up, stretching and yawning on his show that don't belong to me. And a voice yells, good morning, Donnell, from the makeup room. Then Charlie Murphy comes out and whispers to me, and to my surprise, it must be true. Now I get this dumb look on my face, like what has Dave done? How could I be so stupid not to get a contract signed, signed? I was falling out my mind, and I gotta go back to doing crime. What was I to do? Is it true? Season three is true. Quick, think quick. I need a new contract. Next thing you know, a call comes through on my cell phone. I tried my best to keep it real. Lord knows I don't wanna hate, but from the way he was acting, I swear it was way too late. I hopped up and said, "There's a mystery going on, and I'm gonna solve it." And I'm like, 